Let's go to three, okay? It's got a good radio pulse. Well, this was my first deployment, so I was very nervous about coming over. And um, once we got out here, met the people we were going to be working with. We also met the US guys we were going to be working with, and we all gelled so well. We started getting on with the work, and I don't know if I want to go home. The demand out here is faster, it's a quicker pace. You do see a lot more variety of trauma. I've not seen anything like this back home before. You have to learn your job quickly, sharply, know where everything is, know what the anaesthetist is going to need next because they're going to need it pretty quick. I would say that there's higher demand of hours but it's a great experience because when you go back home you'll be familiarised with all the equipment, you know your instruments better because you've been in the sterilising role but it's an opportunity that will make you more advanced in your role. I'll, I'll scrub up with you because I think we want to take some pictures. There's no doubt that every member of the operating team is important and we will often ask people to do things that they wouldn't normally do for example so we might ask one of the ODPs to sort of stand up maybe do some scrubbing in uh, to help with something but nothing that they wouldn't be prepared for. And one of the other things that the Army will do is if they're going to ask you to do something Something, we'll train you to do that and so it's very important that you'll get that kind of extension of your role if you like and I know that in the health service they're talking about extending everybody's role and so the army may well be able to offer that kind of training to individuals to take them on to the next stage if you like in their career rather than being stuck at one particular level. The massive blood transfusions that we're doing as well we have to deal with all the plotting, testing, we've got a machine in, in theatre that helps us decide which blood products we're going to use next, so we've never used that back home. I think they only use it in a few specialist hospitals. Teamwork is a big thing. I was involved with the Rotum, ISTAT, taking blood gases, drawn up emergency drugs. It was a quick, fast pace. I think you're using a lot more invasive monitoring out here. Um, you're putting larger lines in um, that we wouldn't normally do back in the UK because we have to put a lot more blood products through quicker and at a faster pace. But it's mainly been bilateral amputations, gunshot wounds to the head, um, gunshot wound to the neck, surprisingly very stable, so you're expecting a gunshot wound to the neck, you have everything ready, and then suddenly the patient comes in breathing, talking, and, and it's fine, So, but you're prepared for the worst case scenario. Frag all the way on the back, both sides, with some fairly large holes at about sort of T10 to T12 on the left hand side. The learning curve has just been absolutely amazing. You're working with people who are so motivated in the jobs, um, they just want to get on with it. They're all here for the same purpose of treating the soldiers that are getting injured and that is why we're here. The civilians as well, the Afghan soldiers and then obviously the US and then our own lads as well. The people out here are great. You get the lads coming in that have been out on the fobs, they'll come in, they'll see your Red Cross armband, they'll come over and chat with you. That's really important as well. Your employability is better because you've expanded your experience, your clinical skills are better and you're continuing your personal development um, at a higher level. Did you do us a, give us a trim scanner and all that stuff hanging off? Let's hold that there, that's good. Okay. I think I now work at a much faster pace. I've got a bit more drive about myself. and I'll take that home to the NHS and I'll communicate better to my team that are in theatres. I'm <laughs> You need to get out there, you need to do this. It's an amazing experience. You work so well together as a team and this is what it's about. Are you happy to just go off the filter or do you want me to find a straight catheter? If you're looking for a challenge and you're looking for something different, which I know there's ODPs out there, then this is the opportunity. Um, you get looked after by the forces in the TA. Other activities that you've never ever experienced before, for example, military green and keen activities, and also you get the opportunity to go away and serve for your country. When we get the letters from the families thanking us for treating them, it, it just gives you a nice, warm, fuzzy feeling inside. I think once you take the leap, to actually come and do this, you'll never ever look back. It's really, it's hard to explain unless you've done it, but really you, you need to just take that leap and do it.